In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing, not loading, and also freezing issues with FIFA 23 on PC. Before we get started, I'd like to just say I have popped a link in the description below to our website, where we have a guide on fixing FIFA 23, which I will add more methods to if I come across any that I didn't get to add in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You then need to click on settings, and you now need to select update and security. You now need to click on the check for updates button and Windows will now check to see if there are any new updates available. And if it does detect any, it will then install them. Also, if you do have any optional quality updates available, then download and install those as well. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing we need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You now need to expand display adapters and as you can see I have an Nvidia graphics card and it's a GeForce GTX 1660 Super which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download a driver for this graphics card. I will put some links in the description below on how you can install a driver for your graphics card if you're not too sure on how to do this. So now you've updated Windows and your graphics card Go ahead and launch FIFA and see if that fixed the crashing issues you're having. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to open power option. You now need to click on additional power settings and you then need to ensure you've got the high performance power plan selected. If you don't, then go ahead and select it. It may also be under hidden power plans. So once you've done that, the next thing we want to do is go back to the home on settings and we now need to select gaming. You then need to go to game mode and you need to turn this off. Once you turn game mode off, go ahead and try FIFA 23 again. If turning game mode off didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have everything closed before launching the game. So if you have OBS Studio in the background open, a web browser, a music player, even Razer Cortex, anything like that, close all of that down before launching the game. And also the next thing you want to do is just unplug everything that you have currently plugged into your computer apart from your keyboard and mouse. So if you have a microphone, a headset, a controller, anything like that plugged in, even a USB stick, unplug all these devices and just leave your keyboard and mouse plugged in. So once you close down all the background programs and also unplugged any devices that are connected to your computer, go ahead and launch FIFA 23. And hopefully that would have worked. If that didn't help, then the next thing we need to do is go to the FIFA shortcut and you then need to right click on it and go run as administrator. This is going to give the game extra privileges which should hopefully help resolve the issue. The next thing you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game. If you're not sure where this is, you can right click on the shortcut file for FIFA 23 and go open file location. You now need to open up the installer folder and you then need to go into the FIC folder you will now see a list of different folders. So you need to go into each one of these folders and you then need to go into the REDIST folder. So you now need to run the X64 version as you should have a 64-bit processor because if you don't, you won't be able to play FIFA 23. So go ahead and run the file and then just click on repair. And you need to do this for each one. So for example, once I've repaired this one, I then need to go back to the VC folder and open up the next folder down and then I then need to do the same thing again and click repair. Once you've done all that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is open up either Origin or the EA app depending on what you use to launch FIFA 23. Once open, you then need to find FIFA 23 and you then need to click on the three dots and you now need to click on repair. And this is going to check if any of the game files have become corrupted or missing. And if it detects an issue, it will then repair those files. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game again. And if that didn't help, then the next thing I'd suggest is try reinstalling the game. And if you do have the option, install it to a different hard drive, as it may be an issue with the drive that you're trying to install the game to. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.